In eastern Kentucky, rescue efforts have turned to rebuilding efforts. We now turn to Colleen Finney in Breathitt County to see how residents and companies are cleaning up the mess. As you can see, there is still debris high up in the air, and I am six feet tall. That is where the water once was one week ago today. And what's left is the mud below me that now fills eastern Kentucky residents' homes. So how does this extreme mess begin to be cleaned up? That's where businesses like Surf Pro come in. Surf Pro specializes in cleaning, restoration, and construction. They've been traveling all over the counties affected by the floods, helping families one by one. From cleaning out the mud, tearing out kitchen cabinets, and hauling the debris off, they've seen it all. The general manager of Surf Pro told me about their efforts over the last week. A lot of, a lot of what we're doing is helping people get rid of the items that they can't be salvaged and um, doing demolition in some of the structural items like tearing out drywall, some flooring, that sort of thing, drying the structure out, and then treating the structures with antimicrobial sprays and disinfectants and that sort of thing to make sure that the structure is safe when they go to put it back together. John Ferguson also told me that they are getting bombarded by phone calls from people in eastern Kentucky needing their help, but the list is over 100 people long. They plan to get to residents' homes one by one as long as the need is there. In Breathitt County, I'm Colleen Finney, Fox 56 News.